we've been pretty successful over the last couple of years at finding ways to, to grow production. It was just a couple of years ago that we broke through 500,000 units for the first time. We, we, we broke through 600,000 uh, last year for the first time. We'll break 700,000 this year. So we have been successful at finding ways to incrementally grow our volume without the significant investment of an all-new assembly plant. I think we're going to see how long we can go uh, with that point of view. I mean, truly our focus is delighting the customer 100% of the time, every car sale, um, the car itself, the retail and service experience. That's our primary focus right now. We're calling that a clarifying constraint um, at Hyundai this year, and, and we'll see. We've been absolutely tapped out all year. Our plants have done a great job supplying us, but, but we've been in this 60 to 65,000 unit per month, which has pretty much been our, our ability to supply um, our dealers. So our plan this year has been to grow our retail share as much as we can. So we've dropped fleet now to single digit levels. We'll probably finish the year around a 7% fleet mix. We want to make sure we continue to deliver for our dealers and allow them to grow on a volume per store um, standpoint. And we should end up the year um, a little bit over 700,000. It'll be the first year that we've broken the 700,000 unit mark. From a total share standpoint though, you're absolutely right. We'll probably end up um, just about where we were last year, a little bit over 5%. We, we did target the Veloster um, at a younger buyer, and we took a non-traditional approach. I think is an approach that, that, frankly, a lot of automotive journalists had some issues with because it didn't come um, with a 1.6 liter turbo that we're launching with you guys today, right? Um, it was a vehicle that had a unique and distinctive styling, unique door arrangement, lots of technology dialed into the vehicle, Blue Link, a seven inch screen is standard equipment. Um, but the focus from a powertrain standpoint was much more fuel economy than performance. And that, that combination, that recipe has really resonated with younger buyers. The, the average buyer age for Veloster is very young and it's really caught on with that group. Well, you know, we started the first half of the year pretty strong, and I think most of the months we were hitting SAR levels that were above analyst forecasts. And things have gotten a little bit slower from a, from a SAR point of view. And I think this is one of those defining moments for the industry because it's been relatively easy and the growth has been relatively linear, right? Um, now we've got a little bit of a speed bump. And the question is, with some of the signs that we're seeing, inventories are growing a little bit uh, during months where they, they really should be dropping. Uh, transaction prices have been falling a little bit, incentives have been rising. Um, I think what we see in terms of production plans in the third quarter are going to tell if the industry has really learned its lesson of the past or if it might be reverting perhaps a little bit uh, to some old ways. We'll see.